Hey, this is Chad, TackleExpress.com. I'm uh, going to go over the Shimano Butterfly Jig today, and the flat fall one is in particular is the one we're, we're going to go over. Uh, it's been a pretty amazing bait. It, uh, it's kind of taken by storm since last year when it came out, and it's, we just can't keep it on the shelves. It's just flying out of here. Uh, there was a shortage last year. I don't know if there's going to be a shortage this year. It seems like it's still kind of hard to get. We have a bunch that are still back ordered, but we have a bunch on the wall as well. We're just trying to keep the inventory up as much as we can. That's how, that's how uh, phenomenal this jig's been. Um, the key to the success of this jig is that it, as it falls through the water, it's going to shimmy. So as it, as it falls through the water, it does this and it, th it goes through the water column very slowly. So when you need that presentation of a bait, an injured bait fish and it's just falling through the water column slowly, this is the one you're going to want. The reason it does that is because it has a keel design. It has a special design to the back of it and a little bit to the front, but most of the action is because of the back of it. And if you consider the weight of this and how slow it falls to the water column, it's pretty neat. Um, and what we do is if we're fishing for, let's say, yellowtail or tuna, uh, we'll just throw it out. Let's say we're in 150 feet or 100 feet. It doesn't matter. But just we'll throw it out. You want it on a, on a slack line. Otherwise, it's not going to fall correctly and fall slow and, and shudder. You're going to want it on a slack line. You don't want any tension on that line at all. Uh, we're normally fishing braided line. We'll do like a 50 or 65 pound braid to a top shot of like three, two, three, four feet. Uh, but you can fish it on straight mono um, or fluorocarbon, whatever whatever works for you. That's just how we fish it. And so what we'll do is we'll just do it on a slack line. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll open my, my bail up, obviously. I'll, I'll uh, pull the lever back, keep one thumb on the spool, and I'll feed it out to it. And I don't want to feed out so much that it piles up on the water. I want to feed out just enough to where I can feel if I get bit so I can slam it in gear and then start start whining on the fish and don't set the hook just just wind as fast as you can if you feel that bump but I don't want so much on the water like line on the water and pulling too much line out that I don't feel that hit so you have to be really careful about how much line and I just I just regulate it I just one one thumb on the spool and the other hand I'm just pulling out just enough line to where I can feed it so it's it's got the right action to it and as it flutters it should it should shimmy and it should flutter down left to the right. Uh, once you get to the bottom, um, there's two different you know trains of thought here. One, you can wind in a little bit of slack you have and just put the rod tip all the way down and pop it up and then drop the tip down straight away, like right away, just drop it back down. And I'll just lift the bait up and it'll flutter down to the bottom again. So that's when I'm targeting fish that are on or close to the bottom, rockfish, lingcod, or even yellowtail if they're, if they're hugging to the rock. The other way that I do it is once I hit the bottom, I may do that a couple times and then I just burn it back up. And I might do like 10, 12, 15 cranks on it, just burning it up. And a lot of times I'll hit it on the way up like that. And then once I get my 12, 15 cranks in, I'll send it back down again on slack line, pull the slack out again. And I'll just repeat that process. Sometimes if the fish are in the higher in the water column, I might bring it all the way back up to the boat. Instead of just doing it 10, 12, 15 cranks, I might bring it all the way back up and then send it all the way back down again if they're all through the water column or in the upper part of the water column. Um, the other thing that you can do to customize this bait is you can take your monofilament line or your fluorocarbon line, take off the hooks that are on here now, you run the line through the top hook, out through the bottom hook, going through the back side, and then you can tie back on these hooks that come with it, the assist hooks, which are great. They're four by strong, hooks and they have 250 pound braided line attached to them so you're, you're not going to break them um, but you can tie back tie these back on you can tie on a treble hook you can tie on a jobu hook you can tie on a side wash hook whatever you want and what that does is that separates the heavy lure from the hook so if you have a fish thrashing its head back and forth it's not going to use the weight of the lure to throw the hook it's going to that lure is going to be able to slide away from the hook so that the weight isn't directly in the fish's mouth and it's much harder for them to throw. Um, it comes in six different colors. This is a phantom squid so it has a purple and black on the front with a little bit of pink and then it has gold on the back. This is the only one to date that has the gold on the back. All the rest of them have silver on the back or chrome. This is the blue sardine and you can see it has chrome on the back. Um, it goes in, they have it in four sizes. It goes 80, 100, 130, and 160 at the moment. Um, and this is the little 80, little tiny guy. This one's a uh, sand eel, another good color. And 
And then another favorite is anchovy, black anchovy. Also chrome on the back. But there's there's a couple of other colors that work real well. So give the Shimano Flat Fall a try. Um, we're sure you're going to be impressed. It's done very well for us on Yelltail and Tuna and Rockfish, Lingcod this, this past year. We're looking for another great season. So uh, stop by TackleExpress.com and check out our great selection. Thanks for coming by.